those sexual harassment allegations against one of the most powerful men in television news. Fox News host Gretchen Carlson has filed a lawsuit against the network's CEO, Roger Ailes, claiming she was fired because she refused his advances. ABC's Ryan Smith is at Fox News headquarters with the latest. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, George. For 11 years, Gretchen Carlson was a stalwart at Fox News, known for speaking her mind. Now she's speaking out against her former boss, claiming he subjected her to severe and pervasive sexual harassment and sabotaged her career. I'm Gretchen Carlson. This morning, award-winning journalist Gretchen Carlson taking on Fox News chairman and CEO Roger Ailes, filing a sexual harassment lawsuit, claiming her refusal of his unwanted sexual advances cost her her job. Thanks so much for being part of the real story. In the suit, Carlson claims the media mogul subjected her to severe and pervasive sexual harassment at Fox News, alleging Ailes injected sexual and or sexist comments into their conversations, even asking her to turn around so he could view her posterior. Carlson alleges when she met with Ailes to discuss how she was being treated, Ailes told her, you and I should have had a sexual relationship a long time ago, and then you'd be good and better, and I'd be good and better. Carlson only naming Ailes as a defendant, but in her complaint, the married mother of two, also claiming her former Fox and Friends co-anchor, Steve Ducey, got a Fox News alert for you. Treated her in a sexist and condescending manner. She alleges when Ailes learned of her complaints about Ducey's behavior, Ailes responded by calling Carlson a man-hater. Carlson was taken off the popular morning show in 2013 and given her own afternoon show. But on her final Fox and Friends appearance, she only had positive things to say about Ailes. Thanks very much to Roger Ailes, who runs this corporation, for believing in me and giving me this opportunity. Now, Carlson claims that move, along with a salary cut and Ailes' refusal to renew her contract last month, were all in retaliation for her complaints of harassment and discrimination and because she rejected his sexual advances. The 76-year-old Ailes, one of the most powerful men in cable news. We discovered a uh, secret niche in broadcasting half the American people. <laughs> tells ABC News Carlson's allegations are false. This is a retaliatory suit for the network's decision not to renew her contract, which was due to the fact that her disappointingly low ratings were dragging down the afternoon lineup. Ailes has faced allegations of sexism in the past. This 2014 unauthorized biography claims the CEO wanted his female anchors to show off their legs. Fox News fought back at the author, saying he was never given direct access to Ailes and the book was never fact-checked with them. On Wednesday, the former Miss America tweeting out this blog she wrote last year, recounting her experience with sexual harassment as a young reporter, something she's addressed on air. I knew over time that the newsroom would start a buzz like, oh, here comes a former Miss America, she must be a bimbo. Carlson telling ABC News the lawsuit was a difficult step to take, but adding, I had to stand up for myself and speak out for all women. Carlson is seeking unspecified damages. Ailes and Fox News claiming that the lawsuit is defamatory and offensive and promising to defend it vigorously. And the network's parent company, 21st Century Fox, saying that while they have full confidence in Ailes and Ducey, they take these allegations seriously and are conducting an internal review of the matter. George? Let's see what comes of that. Let's talk about this with our legal team, Dan Abrams and Sonny Haas. And Dan, let me begin with you. She's claiming sexual harassment in the workplace, but the lawsuit itself against Roger Ailes personally, not against Fox News. That's right, uh, which is unusual. Typically, you would file a lawsuit against the entity, the deep pockets here. This makes it feel like it's personal uh, against Roger Ailes. She's not suing Fox in this context. And so the question is going to become, what corroborating evidence does she have to avoid making this he said, she said, are there audio tapes? Are there emails? Are there other witnesses? Are there contemporaneous notes that she took uh, immediately after some of these comments were made? These are the sorts of questions you have to ask in any kind of lawsuit like and this. And then the other question. Add to that, though, you know, I think when you look at this, you're right, Dan, that people typically sue the parent company because they're going for the money. I think the fact that she made this personal, that she made it clear that her grievance is only with Roger Ailes, not with Fox News, not with its parents' company, gives her more credibility because it's personal and sexual harassment generally is. So the fact that she's done it this way, I think, shows that she's very brave. And I think she gives Fox News and its parent company a pass, so to speak. But she also seems to suggest that she's not alone here, suggesting that others at Fox News 
uh, were promoted because they, they didn't rebuff. Well, Roger not Rose. alone, meaning she's saying she is alone in the right. sense that she rebuffed it, right? I mean, she's making a very, very salacious allegation here, which is that other women at Fox News effectively got promoted because they did not rebuff Roger Ailes' sexual advances. And so one of the big questions is going to be, what other people are going to come forward in the context of this case? They're going to try and drag in all the Fox News people on both sides Well, I, I think what's also important in a sexual harassment case, testimony of other victims becomes relevant and is relevant and is admissible. And her lawyer has already indicated that 10 other women since the filing of the lawsuit have come forward. So you're right. In a he said, who they haven't vetted. They, who they haven't vetted. Right, but the bottom right. line is a he said, she said case and sexual harassment, kind of difficult to prove. A he said, she said, she said, she said, a he said, they said case, not so hard and to meantime, prove. But, on the, but the, let me quickly say on the other side of that, which is that Fox News has a reputation as being incredibly loyal. And so you will likely see a lot of people within Fox News coming to Roger Ailes' defense, rightly or wrongly. But the, the bottom line is that's the kind of case and the ugly kind of case this yeah, is going to become. At the same time, you've got really parallel investigations going on because you have the parent company investigating this while the lawsuit is proceeding and perhaps taking depositions. Well, investigating internally, and that's a sort of a CYA thing. You want to cover yourself if you're the parent company because once you're put on notice that sexual harassment may have occurred at your place of business, well, you have to make sure that you have all the things in place to make sure that it didn't happen or it doesn't happen again. Okay, Sonny Hostin, Dan Ambers, thanks very much.